redshirt junior defensive end that walked off the field for Ball State. He was the injured player, and here's the jet sweep for the Hoosiers. And they've got a first down and running room. And a penalty flag, that's Wap Fillier. And we talked to offensive quarter coordinator Mike DeBoard yesterday, and he said, hey, we want to get Wap more involved in the game plan. We saw them doing that. Unfortunately, there's a penalty here, usually in the area of offensive holding. Personal foul, face mask, defense, number six, 15-yard penalty, first down. Bobby, the last time in a short yardage situation like this, we saw them throw the ball. Do they give it to Stevie Scott? I'm giving it right there. And they do. And Scott into the end zone for a touchdown, six points for Indiana, and the Hoosiers lead it 9-3. to Jay Sean Harris is the... Richard Sr. out of Fishers, Indiana. He's back deep, and he has the ability to take it deep. At the 15. Gets to the outside. A couple of touchdown returns on punts last year. Harris may go all the way. G. Sean Harris takes it. Length of the field, 85 yards for a touchdown. J. Sean Harris, who has recovered from three ACL injuries, did it twice last year, adds another one here in 2018. Really take its toll on this Ball State team. Eight different players have caught a pass. Now Stevie Scott, the catch, bounces his way inside the 10. Ball is loose. It's on the ground. It's a fumble, and Ball State has picked it up. Jeremiah Jackson, a redshirt senior out of Brooksville, Florida, with the recovery. Second and goal at the five. And Ramsey keeps it, and Peyton Ramsey into the end zone for a touchdown. It's too many weapons right there. Too many options for the Hoosier offense. You don't know how to stop them all. Cool Penix Jr. today. Peyton Ramsey, an outstanding afternoon, but the IU coaches said that he would play. And here's a run into the end zone. And a touchdown. It's Ronnie Walker Jr. Ronnie Walker Jr. takes it into the end zone for his first career touchdown. They're going to have the rivalry game and the cross-division matchup against Purdue, so that's four. If you can try to win those four every year, how can we try to get to eight wins? Well, you have two other crossovers, and then you're going to have the big four in Ohio State, uh, Michigan State, Michigan, and Penn State. Years ago, all Mid-American Conference. He's the eighth leading career rusher in Ball State history, and Gilbert gets to the outside. Gilbert is going to go all the way. James Gilbert with his 26th career touchdown, and the Cardinals have their first six points, courtesy of a touchdown in this one. Feels like summer today. Temperatures in the mid-80s, 89% humidity. Michael Penix running close to a first down, and 103 today against Ball State. That is very, very impressive. Look at him right there, delivering another dose of punishment, powering his way into the end zone. You saw it last week against UVA. You watched his success in the rain. You see it now on a sunny day. He's only a freshman, folks. Maybe one or two more plays on this afternoon in Bloomington as Plitt goes to the sideline, and it's picked off. Indiana has the interception. Isaac James, number 13, the Richard Jr. Out of Carmel, Indiana. He's a converted offensive player. Played on offense at Carmel, and he makes the interception, and that's going to do it on this Saturday afternoon. A dominating performance, 38-10, as Indiana now 3-0, Ball State is 1-2.